Dr. Ken here with you with AC Physics Exercises number six. And number six is single phase power in AC circuits. So we're going to start with this first one, exercise 6.1. A single phase load requires 12 kilowatts of power. Determine the rating of an alternator and the current carrying capacity of the connecting conductors if the load supply is at 220 volts and a power factor of unity 0.87 lag and 0.59 lag. So let's look at the first one. Um, unity is reasonably straightforward because kilowatts and kVA, because remember an alternator is rated in worst possible circumstances and I'll just draw a little diagram to uh, show you what I mean. So if you remember here's our power triangle just very roughly and this is true power um, this is apparent power and this is reactive power. So when we're at unity, it means the apparent power part of the triangle is way down here because it means there's no reactive component. Therefore, true power is equal to apparent power it's because there is no reactive component. The hypotenuse of the triangle and the base of the triangle are the same. Therefore, we can say 12 kilowatts is also equal to 12 kVA. That's at unity. So the current is the VA divided by the voltage. So 12 kVA divided by 220, giving us 54.55 amps at unity. Now we do the same thing uh, for lag, but of course we have to determine what the VA is. So they've given us the kilowatts and they've given us the power factor and we can use those two things. So we know that the current is going to be equal to the VA divided by the voltage and the VA in this particular case is 12 kilowatts multiplied by 0.87, sorry, not multiplied, divided by 0.87. Got confused because they're all on one line, but there's a line through here, this means divide. So 12 divided by 0.87, giving me 13.9. So this side of the triangle, 13.9. This side is always going to be 12 kilowatts, and it means we now have a reactive component, and that 0.87 is the cos of that angle in there, giving me the 13. So I can now put the 13.79 VA divided by 240 is going to give me 62 amps, or 62.7 to be more accurate. And we do the whole thing again. And of course, we've got to work out the VA first. So again, the VA is going to be the power W divided by the power factor, and in this case 12 divided by 0.59 giving us 20.29 kVA. So our 20.29 divided by 220 is going to give us current, is going to give us 92.68 Amps. So there's our three currents. Question 6.2 asks us a single phase 110 kilowatt load is supplied from a 230 volt supply. If the current taken by the load is 500 amps, let's determine what the power factor is. Again, we need to look at the power triangle, which we've drawn here. And we need to know the power factor or the cos 
of that angle there. So again, uh, if you can't remember, cos is the adjacent. Get my thing to work. Adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And of course, our hypotenuse here is 115, and our adjacent is the 110 kilowatts. Therefore, the cos of that ratio. Or the ratio itself is the cos, which is 0 0.957. 6.3. The following loads are connected in parallel across a 440 volt, 60 hertz supply. Capacitor bank at 83 kVA. Inductive load of 330 kVA at 0 0.65 power factor lag and a resistive load of 400 kilowatts draw the power triangle and calculate the installation power factor and the line current so bottom of our power triangle we know that the wattage is in phase with the voltage so it's on the horizontal we get IR it's equal to 400 kilowatts divided by 440 so we've got 909 amps at zero degrees for our first current for the resistor for the resistive component that's the watts then we have a current so 83 kva divided by 490 and that's going to give us 189 amps at 90 degrees and then finally we've got our orange one which is our inductive load of 330 kVA at 0.69 which is about 50 degrees so we put that in so if I worked it out down here, you can see cos to the minus 1 of 0.65. I've turned that back into an angle. So that angle in there is our 49.5 degrees. The length of each of the lines representing the current. So we use that and we end up here with a current of 750 amps. So now we've got to do some phaser additions. So the first one is actually a phaser subtraction, not a phaser addition. So I've, you can see the dotted green line down here. I've just picked up the green phaser. I've simply picked up this green phaser brought it down here which effectively subtracts it so it's a minus arrangement from the orange one at 90 degrees so I've got to maintain my 90 degrees in here and my result of that will be this one through here I could have parallelogrammed it but I know it's at 90 degrees so I just go vertically straight up and it's just easier to do the subtraction in that direction and there's the result of IL minus IC. So now I am now going to add the red phaser to the dark green phaser. And there you go, can you see I've added the two. So I've got the dark green phaser parallelogrammed here. I've got the red phaser parallelogrammed. And where the two interconnect is on that point there, remember. We've always got to draw it back to our origin, so our final current will be this one through here, and this will be our final angle. And there you have it there. 
you have a current total of 1350 amps at about minus 15 degrees so we've drawn the power triangle we've calculated the installation power factor and the line current Six point four a single phase motor is connected to a four hundred volt fifty hertz supply and draws eight amps at a phase angle of forty one degrees. Determine the apparent power, true and reactive power taken from a supply and draw the power triangle. So straight away we need to find out what the power factor is. So that's the first thing we've done here. We've set, just gone cos 41 degrees and we've worked out the power factor is 0.755 or 41 degrees. That's in here. So we know we have uh, 400 volts at 8 amps giving us that 400 degrees so we can work out the apparent power that's nice and easy just turn my pen back on so that's this one here simply take the 400 multiplied by 8 giving us 3.2 kVA but since we have this angle we can also take the power factor of 3.2 kVA so kVA multiplied by the power factor is true power give us this side of the triangle and that when you do the maths gives us 24.16 kilowatts to get the uh, opposite side rather than the tangential side we use the same formula except we use the sine of the angle this time the sine of the angle so 32 or 3.2 I should say times sine 41 gives us 2.07 KVAR. Now, of course, we could have used Pythagoras once we had uh, the apparent power and had worked out the true power. We could have used Pythagoras. If you want to check your calc, you can um, actually work out whether the 2.07 squared plus 24. 0.16 squared should equal 3.2 and I've just done the calc on my calculator and yes it does so that's a way you can go about checking yourself so I hope you've enjoyed uh, a couple of problems around single phase AC